Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tamur. If you're old here, my name is still Tamur, it hasn't changed. But this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And I talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security, AI, and general career advice. And today I want to talk about a very important topic, which is how to pass any cyber security exam. You know, like exams like the CCSP or the CISSP or the CompTIA Security Plus. I'm sure all of these exams they are very, I, I, you know, they can be quite tough if you're doing them for the first time, right? And it, it's easy to become very like overwhelmed. That's so much stuff you have to learn, right? And if you're doing it for the first time, especially these certifications, they can seem very, very tough because the syllabus is so wide and the level of understanding that you need to go into. So you need to understand like uh, how I tell people that these exams are not just tests of memory, right? You're not supposed to just memorize but these exams are designed, things like the CISSP and the CompTIA, to check your understanding and your ability to apply these uh, security principles in like real world scenarios. So there are a few tips which I have used and I have taught many people to use them. And they're quite simple. I mean, they, these are not like hidden principles or like hidden tricks, which nobody knows. But I thought it would be good to just go over these. And I have used these techniques over the years, over like almost 20 years to go past God knows how many certifications like the CSSP, the CISA, uh, CCSP, AWS related security certifications. And these techniques, which I'm going to say to you, they can be applied to any exam. Okay. When, I, when you're studying and you're learning these concepts. So let's take a look by one by one. So the first thing, the first thing, if you're preparing for examination, and I cannot stress this enough, and this is something which people forget, unfortunately, that is time blocking. Okay. This is the first thing you should do block a time in your calendar just like when you go to work you have uh, like meetings booked into your calendar where you know you have to go there book a time in your calendar that you're free from distractions right use something like google calendar or your own outlook and block a time like block on one hour where you will dedicatedly study if you leave it like like just whenever you want to study you'll study believe me you will miss out and then at the end you'll be rushing and trying to uh, make up your uh, what you call study time for these certifications these certifications are tough and they need you to have a proper dedicated time allocated for them so the first thing i want you to do is block your time time blocking take a calendar and block your time and do not like spend that time doing anything else okay the second one is to follow the 80 20 rule so there's an 80 20 rule in like business called the Pareto principle i'm not talking about this this is like spend 80 percent of your study time to the practice questions and just 20 percent for reviewing the material a lot of people make that mistake what they do is they spend 20 percent going through the manual like the cissp preparation guide or the ccsp preparation or the CISA one and the last 20 percent of the time which they have they spend preparing for exam questions right no do the opposite go quickly go through the guide okay and then 80 percent of your time spend with the practice questions one thing i would recommend and i've taught that to a lot of people Find a YouTube video. If you have a Udemy course or a YouTube video, say on the CSSP, right? Run it at like 1.5 speed. Just quickly go through it to learn the concepts, to get it in your mind and then start doing the practice questions. And whenever you have a concept you're not able to learn, then go back to the study guide or to the like the lesson which you are going through. Okay. So the 80-20 rule is 80% practice questions, 20% study guide, right? Number three is teach to learn. And this is somewhat different a lot of not not a lot of people do this if you're facing a problem with like a concept right like say encryption in cssp you can't understand symmetric and asymmetric you you or you understand it but you keep forgetting one thing i would do is uh, teach it to somebody else find a study guide find somebody and explain the cssp or the ccsp concepts to somebody else you know you will see that once you teach somebody this concept you will never forget and that is, I can guarantee you that so many times I've taught people things, believe me, that knowledge you never forget. So this, this is an active form of learning because the passive form of learning is you're just reading a book or you're just reading like doing practice question. It gets boring after a while. If you do it like this, believe me, the concepts will become permanently like they'll be stored in your mind. Okay. And the last one I want to tell you is formulating the answers first. And this is common for like CCSP or CSSP, where there are a lot of tricky questions, right? They will ask you what is the most or what is the least of those options. And all of the options will be correct, but you have to find the right one. So a useful technique is to read the question 
do not look at the answers okay think about what the answer is in your mind before you look at the choices this will keep you anchored to what you believe is the correct answer based on your understanding so you won't get so confused right it will make you less susceptible to confusing or misleading questions so these are the four things i wanted to talk to you about first one is time blocking the second is the 80 20 rule the third one is teaching to learn the four is formulating the answers first right and the last thing i want to tell you is just uh, embrace the journey you know enjoy this the path to like getting cisp or ccsp it may seem very difficult right and it may seem very very challenging especially if you're doing it for the first time and when you're preparing it but remember the end goal once you get that email that you have passed the exam that you are now officially a cisp or a ccsp or a cisa or a cism believe me all of it will be worth it right and that sense of accomplishment that will come once you see that congratulations you passed message in your inbox it will be a massive like boost to your motivation so i these are just the four strategies i want to quickly talk to you about i hope this was useful to you and believe me like i said you can apply this to any cyber security certification which you have and it, it will work so i hope this was useful to you if you found this useful please do like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video